How do you know if you're supposed to store your pens horizontally or vertically? So actually every pen is different. When you get a new pen, read all the instructions because generally if it matters, the packaging will say how it should be stored. Once you know how it should be stored, how do you set up your pens in a way that will work for you? I'm going to show you a few different options of pen storage, whether it be horizontally or vertically. I'm Sarah from Ensign Insights and I recently moved, so I've been setting up my new office space. It's taken me years to try and figure out systems that work for me and my office organization is always changing, but I've gotten to a pretty good place right now. And by the way, I don't think I store all of my pens the correct way, just the ones that I really care about. And just so you know, I haven't noticed a problem with the way I store any of my pens. Here are my favorite ways to store pens horizontally. First, these acrylic drawers. One thing I love about these is that it feels like the pens are put away when I close the drawer, but I can still see them because it's clear. When I had storage that the pen was still in the open, it felt like it wasn't really put away to me. There are lots of different sizes and shapes of these. You can look up makeup storage. I think that's technically what these are. This one I found at Marshall's and I actually measured it before buying it to make sure it was really going to work. If you don't live near a Marshall's, I found one similar to this on Amazon and I've linked that in my favorites. There are so many different things at work, but you have to find what's going to fit in your space, your desk, and work with the way that will help you create the best. Next is this plastic storage bin. This one has been really great. I put all of my bullet tip pens or fine liners in here, and I like that I can have them all together. It may not be good if you want to easily take one pen set with you traveling, but it's been great for home storage. I've seen these at Michael's, Joanne, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, and Amazon. Next is my clear zipper pouches. I've shared about these a lot because I really have loved these so much. I used to have little plastic containers in my drawers, but they weren't flexible, so you can only fit so many. With these pouches, they can squish to the sides of the pen. I can fit way more pens in my drawers, and it's just way more efficient. It's also really easy to find the pens I want because they're clear. Plus, when I want to use a certain pen, I just pull out the pouch and I can use the pens and easily keep them contained. Also, it's really easy for traveling or moving. I originally wanted to find something like this when we were evacuated because of fires in the area. During that time, I had just dumped all of my pens in a backpack and that was not great. Because of that experience, I went on the search for something that could solve the problem and over many, many months, I finally found these. And already I'm so glad because this made the move just barely so much easier. It's definitely my best pen storage find. I have a few different sizes of the clear pouches to fit what I need, and those are all in my Amazon favorites. I also like using other pouches that are not clear. Um, these are bags that I've just had forever. They are holding pens that I don't feel like I really need to see. Normally I use them for something very specific or they're kind of a specialty type of pen. I also use these little plastic bins I found at the dollar store that I've had for years. I think I could probably replace them with the clear pouches. I just haven't gotten around to that yet and they are working for now. I'd love to hear from you. What is your favorite pen storage? Have you found something that works for you? It's so unique for everyone and I love hearing what you've found. Now let's look at some different ways to store pens vertically. First, jars. I've seen people use huge jars to store all of their pens. Jars are awesome and you can use clear ones or colorful ones. I spray painted mine gold. You can have several individual jars side by side. Then you can move them around really easily. Or if you want it more combined, you can get one that is connected. And I have two of these types of pen storage. One for my Karen markers because they're supposed to be stored with the brush tip up. Then the other one is for some random pens that I have. I like the rainbow stripes on it. These aren't great for moving around, but it is nice to have on your desk. I used to have this really big one that turned. It was so pretty, but I found that it wasn't really working for me personally, even though I saw lots of people using something similar. And that's why it's so important to find what works for you. For me, I can only have the things on my desk that I really use often. Otherwise, it just feels like clutter to me and everybody is different. 
Here is a cool pen bag that I recently found at Tuesday morning. I like that it can act as a jar or a pen bag. I might want to get more like this because it will be easier to pack and go places instead of having the individual jars. Now I have a very important question for you. Do you store any of your pens in their original packaging? I used to want to store my pens in the package they came in, but it just wasn't working. The one that I do keep in the original package is my Monami Plus Pen 3000. I really like seeing all of the pens lined up like this. I like how they click in and out. Maybe one day I'll put them in a different type of storage, but for now, I like them in here. But then with my Monami Live Color pens, I showed you these ones in my Monami Pen Haul. I thought maybe I wanted to keep them in the packaging because I loved seeing them lined up by color. It's really helpful to choose which colors you want in that way. But I really didn't like pulling them out of this big case every time. And it was so big that it didn't really fit anywhere in my drawers. So I decided to swatch the pens so I can still see the colors all laid out, but I can store them in a way that's easier for me to use them because that's the whole point of your pen storage, right? Making it easy for you to grab your pens, use the ones that you need, and then put them away easily so that you can continue to have your open space clear and free of clutter to just make more room to create. This swatch card I'm using is from Amazing Artistry. She makes these plug and place cards and she sent me one to try out. It's cool because you cut out the swatches and add this little Velcro on the back so you can pull off just the ones you want to use together. You can choose different colors that you think will work well and actually see it before you use them. I think this would be great for pens that you have a lot of. After swatching this, I thought maybe I should make a mini swatch for all of my pens and add them to my clear pouches. What do you think? Is it really important to you to have swatches? I will be sharing more of my desk and office organization in the next little bit because I have so much to share with you. I've been decluttering for a very long time now and figuring out ways to make my office space help me be more creative and really a happy place to create. So I hope this pen storage video helped you. I'll add a playlist right here for other pen storage ideas. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you there.